thanks for the kind introduction aditya uh, pleasure to be here and uh, uh, can i share the presentation aditya you'll have to enable the share screen one sec one sec yeah. do that yeah yeah here the course perfect so we can uh, i guess everyone can see the uh, slides now and so yes we it's can. a pleasure to be here and we'll be launching two international products here offshore products so these are products for indian investors to invest in us listed equities so omni supreme us and omni aiot it's omni aiot so ai is artificial intelligence and the internet of things okay so this is where i start because uh, we are talking about equities markets listed stocks and what uh, one can uh, see if they have ever been in the markets is that there are a lot of risks in equity markets and a lot of returns and our insight is that those who chase the alpha they end up with the risk and there is another way where you could chase safety and interestingly get alpha so that's the whole insight on which our firm and investment strategy and investment philosophy is based on these are our focus markets uh, us uh, naturally it's one of the largest economies in the world and one of the largest equity markets by value uh, so it's interesting and lot of uh, uh, globally important companies are listed on the us markets uh, second the ai revolution so we focus on transformative technologies uh, because see the good player goes where the ball is while the great player goes where the ball is going to be and you need to have a direct exposure a specific exposure to uh, transformative technologies because they are disrupting the traditional sectors so if you don't have that uh, you are going to get, get in trouble in terms of wealth creation and the third one is of course uh, india one of the fastest growing major economies but today we'll focus on the us markets and now when you talk about investing in the markets uh, what is your investment philosophy strategy etc that becomes very important and so rather than spending time on the products it's also important to spend time on what is the investment strategy okay and basically scientific investing is designed which is the investment philosophy and framework we follow it is designed to create a super normal portfolio uh, with safety first and followed by growth and followed by focus on returns so enhance safety enhance growth enhance returns right the idea is to survive through the uncertainties and uh, we have seen one of those uh, in last couple of years right the covid uh, uh, uncertainty when there was huge lockdowns and businesses stopped generating revenues while in many cases the expenses continued so that was one of the uh, places where it was important to survive even today there are a lot of uncertainties in the mind of the market right so important to survive that's how the portfolio fundamentally it should be strong and then thrive on below the radar growth opportunities so you just don't want to be safe you also want to enhance your returns and so you want to thrive i'll not spend time on the how how scientific investing in evolved uh, although that's very interesting and uh, again here i'll not uh, spend time here but this is the base on which it is built uh, but it's now much more than that and we'll will focus on the uh, two three important steps so first step is enhance safety so we'll focus on that here so starting from the full universe we how do we do the stock selection that's what we're trying to explain here 
and the first step is to reduce risks on a very fundamental level so this is not about volatility beta etc it's about uh, companies and how they operate so weak balance sheets loss making companies we call them capital destroyers they are eliminated companies which cannot earn their cost of capital capital eroders so the longer you stay with capital eroders uh, the more you are losing money not from share price going down although that's the consequence the really they are destroying your uh, the net worth of the company right the capital invested in the company that is getting destroyed slowly that is what is capital eroder so capital destroyers capital eroders and the third one is capital imploders so these might be great companies capital imploders but they might be extremely overvalued in which case they become imploders potential imploders because suppose some company is priced so that you know it's supposed to go grow at 15% for 15 years uh, and it's comes back and says okay we are going to slow down a little bit and grow only at 12% and then the stock price is going to collapse down by 60% or so so those are capital imploders and then unlikely to go up back because unless they recover the growth which they don't expect to the stock price is expected to stay so you eliminate all these kind of companies and already what you are left with is a great uh, uh, remaining portfolio and you are likely to uh, be ahead of the market with this generate alpha right but there is this is just a beginning of the story the remaining story uh, is is here so now you focus on enhanced growth so from this remaining set of companies you focus on picking the ones which have huge growth opportunities in front of them and naturally they are below the radar they are in mr market's blind spot which means they are not recognized market is not yet you know recognize that so they don't know that this company is likely to grow at a very uh, high pace while creating value right while having a, a persistent advantages competitive advantages so all that is not yet known to the market and that's why it's available significantly below its intrinsic value so we identify a number of such companies from from the portfolio capital multiplier uh, universe and what we have experienced is when we discover a, a bottom up a manner we discover a new growth vector uh, there are several companies in each growth vector and you are typically able to discover 3 to 7 growth factors at a time which are yet unidentified by mr market but which hold great promise and you create a super normal portfolio which is diversified across multiple growth factors <clears throat> how, how does how does this grow happen okay so this growth factor is a very interesting thing and while you are holding as mr market realizes it and then the growth factor goes in a bubble which means now it's mr market's mirage we are exiting out of it and replacing it with another growth factor so i'll just spend little bit of time on on this uh, i can't spend the full time uh, it will take a uh, it will take too much time to do this but as i mentioned once we go through the capital multiplier companies we discover bottom up uh, several unrecognized growth factors the first job is the next three bullet points it's not bullets but next three points there verifying that the growth factor was driving historical growth for the companies second that the growth factor has a long term future there is great opportunity large tam and a reasonably large growth rate and the third thing that the company has a good strategy to capitalize on once you have verified these now the question is to discover multiple mispriced companies and for that you can walk around the ecosystem so it's not just the main company uh, which is uh, going after the growth factor so you could take let's say let's say uh, the question of uh, 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 smartphones okay so suppose you discover that 5g is a great opportunity and 5g phones are going to sell a lot and the main firm might be fairly priced or it might be undervalued you want more such companies so you could go around the value chain up and down or adjacent in the ecosystem right all the kinds of suppliers or people or companies which are going to benefit from it which might help in marketing which might help in sales which might help in services 
it could be all kinds of things upstream suppliers downstream suppliers right distributors etc so all of that you go through and then you find a set of mispriced companies and that's how you discover multiple companies for each growth factor and then you construct a supernormal portfolio of multiple growth factors which themselves are uncorrelated with each other or less correlated and now the advantage is as you wait let's say there are six growth factors and you are waiting for three years so that's your investment horizon right you expect them to unlock what you will see because they are independent the likelihood is that every six months one of the growth factors would would unlock and you would uh, uh, you know make hopefully make profits on it and exit it and replace it with another growth factor so as independently mr market uh, recognizes different growth factors you are making returns on that and the two ways you are making one is that it has higher growth rate so you are making a economic alpha right or and higher return on capitals right returns on capital and the second is the re-rating as it goes from mr market's blind spot to mr market's mirage that's a huge upside uh, gain and uh, value creating alpha now when you are trying to uh, pick the companies there are multiple market anomaly patterns these are just some of them uh, of course the growth vector investing concept which i uh, uh, presented just now that's the core uh, pattern and so mispriced growth that's the main pattern here okay so most of the time you would have mispriced growth right unrecognized uh, uh, growth opportunities uh, and and that's a very straightforward thing but then there are a number of other uh, patterns like deep value or a mispriced moat or a transformation arbitrage or an acquisition target or or you know near term orientation of mr market etc so there are number of those i can't get into all of those but i'll still pick uh, three case studies and hopefully explain a little bit about uh, those specific uh, anomalous patterns so mispriced uh, growth that's the main growth pattern and uh, we are uh, uh, showcasing a company called manifast of course let me put the disclaimer right here that any discussion of any names uh, we are not recommending that you buy sell or hold that and secondly that we or our clients probably have a buy sell or hold happening in those companies so uh, this is just for illustration purpose and of course second thing the illustration uh, is going to show you the returns etc so that doesn't mean that the future returns of anything portfolios or stocks or anything can be predicted from these numbers right markets are are risky and you could lose all your capital in equity markets of course exactly for that reason we focus on safety and enhance safety enhance growth enhance right so the whole idea is to safeguard the capital uh, but equity markets are risky things so keep that in mind while while going through uh, so this is a case study uh, uh, you know at the time we started picking it up uh, the opportunity in front was of baby boomers health needs which is 73 million americans right and unfit america 70% of americans irrespective of boomers or not are obese okay interesting thing is octavia which is uh, medifast uh, service brand name is one of the fastest growing wellness communities it has one of the largest number of active coaches and it makes money from subscription plan meal plans so it it people subscribe for food and then then food is delivered at home and money is made from that right so uh, you can see the kager returns the compounded annual growth rates so we are not talking about uh, you know uh, return over 10 year period or anything like that we are talking about annual growth rates here so as you can see on right and top corner 50% growth rate so the company is growing like crazy and uh, when we identified it as mispriced uh, and and today uh, over the long period it has got a very high compounded return right so so that's uh, the kind of basic pattern we are looking for when we are searching for mispriced uh, growth vectors 
right? This is the kind of company we are looking for. Um, second, case study is Deep Value, and you'll recognize the name. It's the largest company in the world today. Okay, uh, but this company was available in 2015, and we've written an article. Uh, you can see at the bottom um, in the street.com and it continued being mispriced even going on to 2016 and 17 as deep value. Even today, I would say it is a mispriced growth factor, but during that period, it was deep value and you can see the kind of juicy uh, deal it offered. $500 billion market cap at that time. Today, it's more than $2 trillion, but that time $500 billion on sales of 200 billion, uh, operating margin of 25%. So it had free cash flow of around 50 billion. Although in that specific year, that was around 70 billion in 2015, 16. Okay. And it was sitting on total cash of 230 billion. Debt of 70. So net market cap was 350 billion when its free cash flow was 50 billion. So that's effectively a PE of seven okay uh, of course we toned down the margins etc a little bit and we uh, estimated that conservatively the pe multiple is not more than 11 which means earnings yield of nine percent fcf yield of 14 percent right so that was an extremely juicy deal with uh, even a single digit you know six seven percent kind of growth of uh, 14 percent yield plus six seven percent growth that's like a uh, 21, 20% 20 plus kind of expected returns, right? It's expected returns. It's not guaranteed returns. Uh, and you, of course, you know, what happened later, we can see on the bottom right, right hand, 36% compounded annual growth rate. So 36% annualized returns over next several years. So deep value is uh, really delivers very high returns if you can find it. Of course, it's rare. Uh, and the third case study is here where there is a transformational arbitrage happening, right? Again, when we identified the company, it had already got significant uh, digital sales, but Mr. Market was focused on the past when it had been losing revenues, but it had gone through a new blue transformation strategy 1.0 and it had already started to grow. So there were, you know, nearly several quarters of high growth rates. Uh, several quarters of already seeing the transformation, cash flows becoming positive from negative, significantly positive, and it had launched a new blue transformation 2.0 strategy. And so once you dug deep into it, you could see all the kinds of transformation which was already happening successfully, and Mr. Market was mispricing that. Again, the results you can see are amazing. Of course, right now it's gone down again with the market, and again, it's become a, a significantly interesting pattern for investment. Transformation continues. Okay. So these are some of the patterns, uh, how these companies are identified. Now we will present two products, two opportunities. One is the global opportunity of below the net are growth factors, and the other one is the transformative technologies, so innovative growth factors. In both cases, it's yet to be identified by Mr. Market. So this is Omni Supreme US. So Omni Supreme US uh, invests in, chooses uh, companies from the S&P 1500. So S&P 500, which you've all heard of, is the large cap universe of 500 companies. Below that is S&P 400, which is the mid cap universe of around 400 companies. And below that there is S&P 600, which is the small cap universe of 600 companies. All put together is the 1500 stocks from which we choose. And there are multiple growth opportunities, growth vectors, and uh, which we have already explained how that is done. So you get exposure to the full US market through that, uh, the best portion of the full US market across sectors, et cetera. Right? So that's uh, US Supreme. Uh, this is currently the kind of growth vectors it has. All are nearly trillion dollar plus markets, growth factors. Uh, for example, artificial intelligence and Internet of Things and Metaverse. Uh, so the Omni AIoT, the technology part is also part of this uh, as a small allocation, significant allocation though. 
Uh, second is athleisure and wellness. That's a very strong growth factor uh, right now. Uh, it's growing at around 16%, right? It's a apparel uh, related that, uh, you know, people wear their athletic clothes for casual uh, uh, lifestyle, right? And wellness, we already talked about the Medifast and, uh, and uh, gave an example of uh, how the fitness and wellness uh, growth factor is uh, there in the US markets because of uh, senior citizens and baby boomers and even non-senior citizens being unfit. The third one you can see is e-commerce payments and home nesting. So e-commerce, again, there are great opportunities. It's a trillion dollar plus market in US, uh, but still growing at double digits, 15, 16% kind of growth rates for next several years, okay? It's still a very small proportion of the total retail. Uh, it might, most people might find it surprising and have the impression that in US, e-commerce would be the main uh, dominating factor, but it's still less than 20%. It's probably less than 15% today of the full retail. Uh, and payments, payments is a huge opportunity. I'm sure all of you are aware of that. So that is another allocation. Home nesting, so post-COVID home nesting has become very strong. Uh, and then, of course, you know, the recession resistant millionaire and luxury segment, right? So, there are a number of such growth factors in Supreme. I'll not get into each. Uh, it's not enough time for that. Uh, the second product is Omni AIoT US. So, it focuses on artificial intelligence and Internet of Things. Uh, you're all aware of of the AI uh, opportunity, how it's disrupting uh, daily life and how technology is disrupting daily life. We all remember how we used to travel in regular cabs and then you had the Meru cabs and uh, tab cabs and so on. And then how today you are for several years, now you're used to Ola and Uber kind of uh, uh, commuting uh, uh, cabs, okay? So things, how things are transforming. Uh, we used to buy at uh, regular mom and pop stores. Then there were the malls and organized retail. And now people probably don't even, you know, go to the malls as much. And people are ordering and getting delivered, things delivered at home directly. And with things like 10 minute delivery and so on. So technology is transforming your life completely. Right now also, we used to have these sessions at, at big five-star hotels where Aditya used to organize all this and we would all collect there for a couple of days and spend a lot of time. And today we are doing is using technology. Uh, so, so all of these things we can experience, how things are changing. You can just imagine 10 years later what is likely to happen, okay? Uh, technology used to be hardly 15% of, of the total S&P. And today it's more than 30 to 40% already of S&P 500. Imagine 10 years later, how much weightage it, was, uh, it would likely have because of it disrupting all the traditional sectors. So this AI revolution is happening, not just directly, but it's happening over a period of time, right? Over, over the whole life. And it, you know, how from hunting, gathering, ancient era at the bottom, if you can see, it was fully dependent on labor. Then agriculture revolution, labor and land became important. Industrial revolution, land, labor and capital. And today, AI revolution, uh, labor is going away, land is going away, uh, capital maybe little bit. And most important is the AI, right? So data and then on data AI. So that's how AI revolution is taking place and things are changing. And so you need to have exposure to all this uh, through the one way to do that is Omni AIoT. Uh, again, there are various parts of this digital life, which we just discussed, you know, shopping, living, playing, work, et cetera. Right, I just gave a few examples about that. Uh, digital work, again, fine. I mean, one of the examples of the conference being held uh, virtually is digital work. But there is a huge amount of things happening on the cloud, right? 
work is all moving on the cloud. The softwares are all on the cloud and then huge amount of data is getting generated. So companies which deliver these products and services and platforms, that's digital work. So companies like IBM, Microsoft, et cetera, and even Amazon with the AWS, uh, SAP, Oracle, and so on. And then underlying all this is the digital brain, right? Digital brain is where the actual uh, memory stays, right? So memory chips, uh, storage devices, and the transmission, so sharing of uh, data from here and there, and then the processing, right? So in, in uh, the brain, you store data and then you process the data and then you come up with the insights. So all of that is here. So a lot of chip companies, a lot of semiconductor companies, a lot of equipment manufacturers for semiconductors, uh, etc. And today you know how there is a, a supply chain shortage, a chip shortage, which is causing uh, a shortage for all kinds of uh, products, including automobiles, right? So all of this is here. Uh, there are a couple of reports on our websites where you can learn more about these, right? So omniSciencecapital.com. You can go there and under research, you can see all these things. Uh, for investing, you can go to stockel.com. So stockel.com hosts our uh, uh, strategies on their platform. Uh, it's targeted to Indians, so Indians and NRIs in Middle East, et cetera, can invest in US markets through this platform. It's very easy to open the account here. It's all online using scanned documents, and it's much faster than opening an account in India. Uh, so you just need the ID proof and KYC, et cetera, uh, and, and you can open the account and transfer the money on this platform and invest in these strategies. So Omni Science. Supreme US. And uh, this is the reports for the artificial intelligence, uh, AIoT, and OmniScience AIoT. So these are the two products uh, I, I, we wanted to launch today. Uh, definitely most important part is uh, still remaining, which is the disclaimer. Okay. Uh, thank you. <laughs>